I think giving anybody $700,000 is a full offer, and there's a reason they call me Mr. <laughs> Wonderful. I was the only shark to make any kind of an offer. We didn't see eye to eye, and of course, like everybody else, when I saw the deal across the tape last night, I said, Ichiwawa caramba. I couldn't believe the price tag. <laughs> Unbelievable. But Kevin, Kevin, clearly uh, you did offer a loan, but you must be annoyed that you didn't strike a deal of some sort. As Shark Tank misses goes, this must be one of the biggest. It, it's probably the biggest. The, the, the previous exit, um, the largest, was Albertson's purchase of Plated. That was my deal uh, for $300 million. This clearly is three times that size and more. But it just shows you how big the Shark Tank platform is becoming. Every year the deals get bigger and the exits get bigger. I mean, Shark Tank, I'd argue, is the number one venture capital platform on earth today. Just look at what it does to small companies. It gets 10 million eyeballs a week in aggregate yeah. between Kevin the broadcast and syndication. And he actually said, look, it was after I appeared on the show that the sales of the product really started to take off. And they've since kind of broadened it from that one uh, initial one that, that was pitched to, to more to a suite of more products. So let me just ask you this as now, you know, we consider whether this was a good acquisition by Amazon. Maybe they have much bigger plans with it. Why did you guys pass on it? I mean, was there something about, you know, the fundamentals of the business or the, the ease of competition to come in here uh, that you think are still relevant concerns that at least Amazon should keep in mind? Well, Kelly, you've got to remember the time this was occurring. This was a single product. The valuation at the time seemed insane. Very little in sales and a plethora of competitors, some of them very large, like ADT. So we were looking at it saying to ourselves, well, this is a total crapshoot. The only reason I gave him any offer at all was the more I listened to him, and you've got to understand that taping was actually about an hour and 20 minutes. You only saw eight minutes of it on Shark Tank. But Jamie was a really good salesperson, and I wanted to bet on the jockey, not the horse in this deal. And I figured, look, if I loan him $700,000 and I get a warrant, I get some equity in it, that's a good bet on a jockey. If he doesn't figure it out on this one, he'll pivot and do something else. And basically, that's what he did. He was a phenomenal salesperson. You know, when you're sitting in the mm -hmm. shark tank, you can feel the aura of greatness. He had it. Now look, do I regret I don't have 100 million extra dollars today? Sure, but my mother taught me never cry over spilt milk. There's always another opportunity next time the Shark Tank door opens. It's rich milk that we're talking about there. Kevin, just quickly, what, what do you think about the buyer of uh, this company in terms of Amazon? Why are they doing it? And, and is this a sort of start of a new trend for them? Do you think they're going to start to buy more companies like this of this size? You know, people talk about the last mile in the Amazon delivery. I talk about the last yard. One of the biggest problems is how do you get that package away from a thief? And the whole idea of this product and the way people are even building new homes is to put a vestibule that you can open a first door, place the product behind, and let the homeowner come in from the other side and pick it up. Ring does this perfectly. So I think what they're doing at Amazon is trying to solve the last yard. And also the real, the real hidden jewel here is an ongoing subscription service because you can buy multiple levels of security on these home cams now ones that yeah. store the imagery for months and you pay a subscription fee for that so i think they're trying to do two things at once and they've picked a really good partner this kid was good i've, I've seen a lot of pitches <laughs> and i'm going to give him a 9.6 out of 10. he can really All dance right. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.